Over a dozen people have been arrested in connection with a mortgage fraud scheme that the Nassau DA's office has netted organizers millions of dollars. Severa Titler reports. These are just a few of the homes targeted in what the Nassau District Attorney describes as a widespread scheme of mortgage fraud and identity theft. And the scheme has now led to the arrest of over a dozen people, including lawyers, bankers and mortgage brokers. DA Kathleen Rice says the investigation was dubbed Operation Sweet Deal because she says the ringleader was 43-year-old James Sweet, who ran it along with 44-year-old Dwayne Benjamin, both of Westbury. In all, 17 people are facing charges, including grand larceny, forgery, mortgage fraud, money laundering, and identity theft. Rice says many of the schemes use a third person called a straw buyer who used their good credit to qualify to buy a home. Then the scam began. Organization members would negotiate with sellers to purchase their home at a higher price than the seller was asking and then would keep the difference between what the bank lent out and the seller's price. And while some of the straw buyers were in on the scam, Rice says others weren't. The straw buyers who received, they each received $10,000 for use of their personal information on mortgage applications. They were often told that they would be assisting sellers who were in financial stress or that the homes would be excellent investment opportunities. So after Sweet Deal members were able to get straw buyers to purchase homes at inflated prices, they then got bold and started using identity to impersonate homeowners and home buyers, leaving innocent victims with stolen homes or bad credit. Rice says Operation Sweet Deal wound up stealing over $20 million in the scheme, which she says went on for about six years. In Mineola, Severa Titler, LI News Tonight.